What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Ultimate Editions, the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. And so here we have the Ultimate Editions, Brock Lesnar posed and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories really fast. Brock Lesnar does come with three different head, and all three heads do have different expressions. We do have the neutral expression which he has on him right now, which is probably the best out of the three. He does come with a yelling expression, which is my second favorite. And then he does come with a confused looking head which is the least impressive he also does come with three pairs of hands we do get a pair of fists we do get a pair of gri grip hands then we have a pair of open grip hands where the grip is actually wider we of course do get a beanie which does fit on any of Brock Lesnar's heads we do get a suplex city shirt which is a fabric shirt which I am happy about that and then he does come with a new universal title, which is longer than all the other ones, and it does fit around this Brock Lesnar's waist. Other than that, this Brock Lesnar doesn't come with anything else. I think a pair of sweatpants would have done nicely for this Brock Lesnar, but I might be stretching it a little bit too much for Mattel's generosity. So with that out of the way, let's actually go on to his details. And so here we have a closer look at the Ultimate Editions Brock Lesnar. And this is probably my favorite Brock Lesnar figure that Mattel has ever released. And that's really not saying much, seeing as how every Brock Lesnar figure since the time of his uh, return has been the same figure with a different head. This is probably my favorite. There's enough different here that warrants a pickup, and I'm just going to say that right off the bat. The head sculpt is done really, really nicely. I do like the way it looks. This face that I have on him right now is probably the best looking Brock Lesnar face out of the three. I do like the fact that they did sculpt in his hair right there. Even though he does shave his head, you can actually see the texturing right here where his hair is. Just really do like that texturing. The fold on the back of his head is also a really nice touch. Really also like how spiky his hair looks as short as it is. They did make it look really impressive. So really like this particular head sculpt on Brock Lesnar. It's the best out of the three. Trust me when I say that. Moving on to the figure itself. You can see they did include his tattoo right here. Which it does look fairly impressive. I love the detail on it. You can see how it goes all the way up to his collarbone. Which is a really good job there. On his arm you can see we do have another tattoo. Which that one also looks pretty good. On this side we have the skull, which is another really nice little detail. On the back we do have that demon skull tattoo, which Lesnar is known for. You can see he also does have the meat hooks at the top of his shoulders. Doesn't have the kill him tattoo that he has on his lower back, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it's not that big of a deal. Moving on to his arms, really like the size of these arms. They are pretty impressive and they're bigger than all the other Ultimate Edition figures, which does make sense seeing as how Lesnar is a bigger guy. You can see right here on his gloves, it says Fear, Fear the Fury. And then we have Lesnar on the knuckle. And something I don't like about these particular hands is if you look right here, they did mold the glove line. Why is it painted flesh tone and he has a glove line? That doesn't make sense. And it's not a mold line because this also does have it. It's a glove line. Like that's where the glove ends and then his finger comes out. Why is it like that? I understand that Brock Lesnar has the, a glove particularly like this. But if we're going to do this sculpt the glove, especially the way the amount that we're paying for this particular figure, that needs to be sculpted perfectly. Moving on to his trunks, really not much to say about his trunks other than the fact we do get two of the Lesnar Demon Skulls on his tight or shorts instead of just one on the left side. And then of course we do get the Demon Skull right here on the back of his trunks. Moving on to his legs, you can see he has the standard Elite Brog Lesnar legs, which that's pretty standard for all the Ultimate Edition figures. 
But I really do love these boots. They actually went out of their way to sculpt ring accurate boots for Brock Lesnar. The only thing missing on these are the Everlast emblems and for copyright reasons I can understand why they didn't include them but really really love that detail of ring accurate boots with they're not just the generic ring boots that all the other Lesnar figures have. Really loving that detail you can see just the strapping on them going all the way around that looks really nice the velcro straps or where the velcro would be strapped just really like that detail on this figure so really good job by Mattel including that little detail so other than that there's really not much to say about his detail he looks really nice and we'll actually get him compared to other figures you may have in your collection and so here we have the ultimate editions Brock Lesnar posed next to the elite Brock Lesnar and a basic Jeff Hardy. And finally here we do have the Ultimate Editions Brock Lesnar posed next to the rest of the Ultimate Editions line. So with the comparisons out of the way let's actually move on to his articulation. Now this Brock Lesnar does sport more articulation than your standard elite figure. For starters he does have a, a ball joint at the head he can look up surprisingly well. Can't really look down which is odd because Brock Lesnar normally looks down on his opponents. His arms are on ball joints that do go out to the side and if you do push them too far they pop out. I don't know why Lesnar's arms pop out but they do. That's kind of odd to me. They do a full 360. We do have a bicep swivel which works fine. Kind of tight on mine. Double bend at the elbow giving us just enough range for Lesnar. He does have a swivel and a hinge at the wrist and that works no problem. We do have a ball joint right here at the torso. It doesn't go from that far back. Doesn't go that far forward. Uh, leans side to side a little bit and we do get a little bit of rotation although you can see I don't think that joint is really meant to rotate and you're mainly just going to get a uh, round movement like that. He does swivel at the waist. Legs do kick forward to about there. Go back out to the side to about there. He does swivel at the thigh really nicely. Double bend at the knee only going to about that high because of his knee because the way his shorts are sculpted that's as far as you get. We do have a boot swivel with Lesnar. We have a hinge in the ankle which goes back and forward. A little bit of rocker ankle and then we also do have a toe joint so really do like the articulation here on Brock Lesnar. So with that out of the way guys let's actually get him posed for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have the Ultimate Editions Brock Lesnar pose for my final thoughts and overall this is a really nice figure. Now I do have to point out some downsides to this figure. Number one being the price point. I know a lot of people will say that the Ultimate Editions is a really good line and I do agree with them. It is a really impressive line for Mattel but $30 price tag for something other companies are doing for less. I really don't think the $30 price tag warrants a pickup in my honest opinion and I think it's price gouging on Mattel's part or WWE I don't know who's in charge of it. Another thing I really don't like about this figure is we get three alternate heads but two of them are terrible. One of them is absurdly ridiculously terrible. One of them is okay and then we have a neutral expression which is probably the best and probably how I'm going to have my Lesnar displayed. Other than that I think I can get around all those points because this is still a really impressive figure. We get a lot of nice details on this Lesnar. Articulation is good but will it kill Mattel to please invest in better ab joints for this line? If you're going to charge us $30 at least invest the money into giving us proper ab joints. I think that's something that this line does suffer from is a lack of a proper abdomen crunch. You have a ball joint which should work but it doesn't. That's something that I do feel Mattel needs to work on if they move forward with this line. I know they are thinking of including butterfly joints but let's improve the abdomen joint before adding butterfly joints shall we. Other than that this is still my favorite Brock Lesnar and I am glad that we finally finally have a universal title that fits around Lesnar's waist. That's something that has bothered me for a very very long time and we finally get it here. So really good job by Mattel giving us a longer universal title for Lesnar to wear. If you are looking for this Brock Lesnar figure I honestly haven't seen Ultimate Edition Series 4 anywhere. No Walmarts, no Targets, 
nowhere. I had to wait for a restock on Ringside Collectibles to finally pick this figure up, and I did pay $30. Now, I did pay $30 because the moment they went on restock, I decided to purchase them. They have upped the price on these guys to $40, which is absurd. That I don't see $40 in this figure. Unfortunately, that's probably the only way you can get hold of this guy because secondhand market is charging anywhere from $50 to $90 for this Lesnar. So if you can get him on ringside collectibles, definitely do it. Or if you're lucky enough to find him at retail, that's probably your best shot. Otherwise, I don't see this as a $40 to $90 figure, honestly. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other Ultimate Edition figures. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be no notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.